Howdy folks. Going to do a quick little tabletop review of the fine little Caltech P3AT. This is my carry firearm. Um, going to give, uh, this is also for people who may be new to firearms that, uh, since this is a carry gun, this gun is loaded right now. Um, so you always want to be careful with a loaded firearm. Um, some safety, general safety rules is uh, never point a gun at anything you don't intend to shoot. Um, number two, always make sure if you're you are shooting, make sure the backstop, make sure what's behind uh, what you're shooting at is safe, and the bullet is not going to travel any further or do any damage to anything beyond what you're shooting at. And number three, never put your finger inside this trigger guard area here unless you intend to fire the firearm. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to safety check this gun, how to unload it. Okay, the first thing you do with this little pistol is press this magazine release button here. This is a Caltech P3AT. I'm going to press this button, pop out the magazine, set it aside. Next thing I'm going to do is make sure there's not a bullet inside the chamber of this gun, which there is in this particular case. Um, what you're going to do is Keep your finger out of the trigger guard, put it out alongside here, grab the gun firmly, grab the slide with these serrations, and operate the slide backwards. It'll operate the ejector and pop anything in the chamber out. And there you go. That bullet was in the gun. So then you visually inspect inside the chamber to make sure that it's empty. Look inside the barrel, look up in the mag well and this gun is safe. Alright, now uh, this is my little carry pistol. It's a Caltech PA3 P3AT. Uh, it it uh, shoots this old 380. Uh, it's a basically a 9mm short cartridge. It holds six in the magazine and uh, one in the chamber. Like I said before this gun has no safety so if uh, if you carry this gun, you need to be careful how you carry it. You need to be careful how you carry the gun. Um, I, If I have one in the chamber, my gun's always in this holster to uh, give me uh, to cover the trigger area so it can't accidentally be fired. Um, if I don't have one in the chamber, then I can use this little clip I have added on here. Uh, which is good for carry and uh, you can clip this right in your belt or whatever um, this gun only weighs about seven ounces it's an excellent little uh, firearm very compact I've been carrying this particular gun for uh, over two years I don't know exactly about two and a half years something like that I've been carrying it on a daily basis um, it's light, it's dependable, reliable. Uh, breaking this gun in, I, um, I had some failure to feeds and stuff for the first couple hundred rounds. Once I fired a couple hundred rounds through it, uh, then the gun smoothed out and became very, uh, very reliable. Um, you'll notice on the front of here, I have this black extension here. This is a Crimson Trace laser grip. And because the sight radius, the radius or the distance between the rear sight and the front sight on this gun is so short, um, any any little movement, of course, any with any firearms, the same. But the sights uh, are difficult to see because they're so small, and the sight radius is short. Uh, so this gun is a point and shoot gun in the daytime. At nighttime, uh, you can't see these sights. So. This, uh, this black extension here is a laser, and I uh, uh, highly recommend this if you're going to carry this gun on you for protection. Um, basically, any time you grab the gun, your finger will hit this uh, actuation button here on the Crimson Trace and actuate the laser. You see that? And basically, uh, uh, extends the usability of this weapon, especially in the dusk and dark. 
But you can see that red laser even in the daylight up to about 10 to 15 feet depending on conditions. Um, highly recommend this little gun for carry. It's easy to break down. Uh, to break the gun down you just uh, you just pull the pin out here and then the slide comes right off. The action will come right off. And you take the barrel out and you can it strips down easy for cleaning. And you reassemble it the same way. There's several videos out there showing that. I've shot a lot of rounds through this little pistol. Um, for the price, there's it's such a good little pistol. There's been many, almost all the major manufacturers have come out with a copy <laughs> of this firearm. Some of them are almost an identical copy. Uh, however, none of them that I know of beat the specs of this gun. Uh, they're either a little heavier or a little bigger or uh, whatever. So I still, because uh, this was, this is also made in the United States, I also prefer that, but I kind of like sticking with, uh, why well, go with the copycats, you know? I, uh, I can't see any reason to this one still is about the most cost effective too. You can pick this little gun up on on sale for around two seventy five, something like that. I actually saw a used one that was like brand new uh, with the crimson trace unit on it for three hundred and forty dollars. Um, the entire package, which uh, if you buy these this gun and this crimson trace new you're going to be somewhere just shy of $500 purchase price for this weapon. But it's well worth it. It's uh, about the most carryable firearm on the market. Uh, like I said, it's re reliable. A lot of police use this for a backup gun. And uh, I'd highly recommend this pistol to anyone. Um, like I said, you go out there and look around, you'll see a lot of... Uh, a lot of identical guns out there by different manufacturers. Uh, Ruger makes one that's almost identical to this gun. Um, it's a little more expensive and it doesn't have the track record. It's already had one recall for uh, problems. Um, anyway, this is the little Keltec P3AT. Give you a, hopefully a little close-up of, of this gun here. This is one side of it, and this is your other side. Um, sights up here. Anyway, um, there's several videos out there on the on this gun. I will say I've been carrying this gun uh, daily for a couple of years. Shot a lot of rounds through this pistol. Uh, probably a couple thousand, and. Uh, it still works like a charm. I think anybody that's looking for a small carry pistol uh, should consider this firearm uh, because it is uh, it is reliable. It's low cost. Uh, the, its uh, dimensions are very small. It's very thin, and it's lightweight. It's the lightest weight pistol in this type that's on uh, on the market. Most of the people that have copied this firearm. We're not able to beat any of the specifications from the original design. That's why I'd still recommend buying this little Keltec over the copycats because uh, the copycats do not match this gun in specifications. This is still the lightest of all of them that I know of. So it comes in, a, I, I'm, now don't quote me on this, it's around 6.8 ounces, something like that, unloaded. Um, and that, that's the lightest one of any of them that are out there. But yeah, you can find them. Just about all the manufacturers have copied, and cop. You know, imitation is the highest form of flattery. So, um, this little gun is made in America. It says right here, made in USA. And Keltec has a lifetime warranty on their products. So I think if you pick one of these up, you'll enjoy it. Highly recommend going ahead and uh, cutting loose the money for this little Crimson Trace uh, as soon as you can afford one. It's a Crimson Trace uh, PT3AT uh, laser extension. I've also had this on it since I bought the gun. It's two years old also. has the original batteries in it. 
uh, batteries last forever, they also will give you a free set of batteries every year. All you got to do is call them and they'll put you a set of batteries in the mail. Uh, which I called them one time, I was just talking to them about registering and they sent me they sent me about three years worth, they sent me about six six uh, six batteries, that takes two batteries uh, in it, so uh, never had to use them though, so anyway, but I'd highly recommend Crimson Trace and this little Caltech P3AT for anyone that's looking for a small, compact, reliable pistol. It's pretty hard to beat this little gun. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is a little Galco uh, pocket holster that I carry it in. So I have a couple different options. I can carry it in this holster in my pocket. This little notch is made when you draw the gun. This notch is supposed to catch on your pocket and uh, allow you to pull the pistol out. If I don't do that, um, I can carry it in my pocket. I can carry it, slide it in the small of my back. If I have one in the chamber, then I'll, you know, keep it in the holster wherever I carry it. If I don't have one in the chamber, then I can use this pocket clip. I can just stick it in a pocket with no holster. I can clip this in my, on my belt or clip it inside my waistband or any number of options. You can even wear this gun with swimming trunks. You can even clip it on, on your swimming trunks with a t-shirt or a muscle shirt and nobody will even know you have a gun on you. Of course, I wouldn't go swimming with it, but but you get the idea. It's a very carry, carryable pistol. Highly recommend it. Thanks for watching the video.